Okay, a few days ago I finally figured out how to run a Minecraft server, and I am making this video for anyone that has trouble on making the server for Mac OS X, because I had a whole slew of issues and I finally figured out every one, and I'd like to share it with you. Okay, first of all, if you haven't bought Minecraft, you need to buy it, obviously, but after you've downloaded the actual client, now we're going to download the server software, okay? You need to go down here on the download page under Linux, you'll find this executable for the Minecraft server, but you'll also find the Java file. Go ahead and download this Java file. I'm going to save it to my desktop. There we go. And pay attention to this little snippet here. This is what's going to actually start up our uh, server. First of all, create a new folder because when you start the server, it'll actually create a slew of files that help manage the server itself. Okay, after we got that, we can close this. And if you start this up normal, just double clicking it as you normally would with any other file, it'll tell you usually one of two things. One, there's not enough RAM, and two, you might get some IP error that you will have trouble with. Um, so let's do this instead. Type in cd, change the directory. If you don't know how to navigate using the terminal, um, or any kind of other Unix-based command line, you need to simply drag and drop that folder. Type in cd, space, drag and drop, and there you go. Press enter and you're in. And if we type ls to list the files, the only file in there is our server um, file. Now, we need to do this. java-xms-1024m. That is the initial RAM that you're going to supply the server. You can make it, you can adjust it to give it more or less. It depends on what you want to do. Next thing we're typing is the um, maximum, which is xmx 1024m. So at all times, there will always be at least 1024 megabytes of RAM dedicated to the server. Then we're going to type in dash jar in the name of the actual server file, um, which is Minecraft um, server jar. And then we're going to type in no GUI, because we don't really need the GUI anyway. Um, go ahead and press enter, and you'll get a whole bunch of information, such as um, spawning the area, generating the world, and over here in our folder, you'll see that we've also, um, uh, it's all, the server's also created uh, a whole bunch of files that we can look at here in a second. And you can actually start up Minecraft, and... Let's see, log in. I'm going to try logging in. If this doesn't work, I know what's wrong. Oops. Yeah, okay. Let's try this. Yeah. Okay, there's one thing that this is why I could not start a server, and I'll show you exactly what's wrong. Um, we've already stopped our server. Um, we need to do nano server.properties which is this file right over here. Okay, go ahead and edit that. And there's um, right here under the server IP, it is not defined. The server IP that I've begun to use is the uh, one that's on my computer is on the network. Um, currently my computer's IP address for the network, not my external IP address, is 10.0.1.2. I accidentally screwed up there for a second. So I'm going to type that in, and that generally fixes the issue. You can also add other parameters in here for such as uh, growing trees, turning the monsters on and off. Um, you can type in public and true, and you'll be able to have other people join if you list it somewhere. Um, you can also go to the Minepedia or whatever and look up more parameters uh, to add in. Um, so now let's start up the server again. Run that command one more time. Okay. And now we uh, are finished spawning the world. We can start Minecraft. We can go to multiplayer, and I can now type in my IP address. And I've logged in, and you can see over here in the background, um, the terminal has also given me a, uh, what's it called? A oh. snippet regarding that I've logged in. It says Hackster Knight is now logged in at this port, oh. this IP address. Oh. Um, it will lag when you initially log in. I don't know why I'm getting hurt. Oh, I spawned in the water. All right. Um, and basically, if you just have to give it a few to actually start up. There you go.
that's pretty much all you have to do to run the server. And ta-da, that's all you have. And you can do all kinds of stuff. You can also go to the Mindpedia and download a server wrapper and other software. Um, it only adds to the functionality of your server and can extend it to make do some more um, extravagant things. But if you just want a basic server to play around in or play with a friend or two, this is all you really need. And you can also do things like help to find out. And you can OP people, so I'm going to OP myself. Now this OP can actually control the server as well. So I can type in something like slash give 164. Or, sorry, uh, slash give axonite 164. So now I've given myself 64 blocks of smooth stone, which I can use to whatever I want. And if you look up a uh, data value sheet, you can also use this information. So if you instead don't want to mine, you can simply play around and um, build stuff. And that's generally what I do. I just find it more fun myself. And then when you're finally done, you can go over here. You can type in save-all. This will save, uh, forcibly save your map. And then you can type in stop. And you'll be disconnected, and that's all you have to do. Um, I hope this was helpful. If you need any information, you can always look in the Mindpedia or the Minecraft forums, or uh, you can send me a message. Hopefully um, this has helped. And I'll see you around.